Hi, I'm Ronald Tidwell, the Chief Deputy Appraiser of Sedgwick County. New this year, the County Appraiser's Office is introducing a new piece of software to allow you to file your informal equalization appeal online. This new software is called SmartFile. The following video will assist you in step-by-step -step directions on how to navigate this new piece of software. You will need to start at the County website www.sedgwickcounty.org, hover over Government and Departments, and click on Appraiser. On the appraiser's homepage, you will want to click Appeals. If you scroll down a little bit under Appeal Documentation, there is the online portal for SmartFile. Once you've gotten to the SmartFile homepage, you will need to create a username and password. Your username has to be an email address and the password has to be at least eight characters and is case sensitive. You will hit Register. You will receive an email at the email address you provided in which you will have to confirm that the email address that you provided, once you have gotten your account created and your email validated, you will need to log into the system with your username and password. To file your informal equalization appeal request, you would click on informal equalization appeal request. You will then click the begin filing. You will need to search by either your PIN number or your quick ref. If you use quick ref, you have to include these, the initial R and you'll hit search. We will then bring up your property and you'll click start filing. You will then be required to enter your appeal passcode and your appeal passcode is case sensitive. Your appeal passcode can be found on your value notice or on your confirmation letter you receive from our office. You will then be getting an acknowledgement form. This acknowledgement form stipulates that we do not recognize incomplete filings and that this software is not owned or maintained by Cedric County and we cannot guarantee its availability. Click I acknowledge and accept the terms and click next. You will then be asked to fill out an application. Under owner applicant, if you, you need to click the little box and select the owner if you are the owner. If you are the owner, but are not listed here, please remember our records are valid as of January 1 of every year. So you would click not listed and select and fill out this additional uh, required information. If you are the owner, click your name and hit select. Verify the mailing address is correct. If it's not, select no and give us the correct mailing address information. If it is, leave the default as yes. You will need to supply us with a valid email address and a primary phone number. If you wish to give us a secondary phone number, you can do so. If you wish to have somebody represent you during your appeal, you'll need to check the box, fill out the information required, and also fill out the Declaration of Representative form by clicking the link, Declaration of Representative form, fill it out, and attach it under the Attachments tab. If you have a pending BOTA case, please check the checkboxes of the years that are before the State Board of Tax Appeals. And our appearance will be a phone appeal. You will then be asked the reasons why you want to file an appeal. These vary depending upon the property type. Residential will have a set, commercial will have a set, vacant, agricultural, major industrial properties will all share the same form. Select the checkboxes of why you wish to file an appeal, and you can, if you wish, give us an opinion of value that you think your property is worth. Click Next. You will then get an appeal detail that will give you the ability to explain why you've chosen the appeal reasons that you've chosen. Make any comments or notes that you wish. If you do not wish to make any comments, they are not required. You would click Next. You're allowed to upload documentation. There is a maximum of 25 documents per upload, and there is a size limitation of 10 megabytes. So go to where your documentation is at, attach it, and click Next. You would then be required to sign your form and submit. You'll be asked if you want to submit your file. Click Yes. You have successfully submitted your request. You will receive an email stating that this request has been submitted. Once this request has been approved, you will receive another email stating that your request has been accepted. If for any reason the County Appraiser's Office must reject your appeal, you will receive a notification via email that we've rejected your appeal and the reasons why. Your messages will also show up here under the Message Center and it will say 
the exact same as your email that your request has been received and is being reviewed or your request has been accepted. Once you have filed your appeal online, you will receive a confirmation letter 10 days before the start of your appeal. If you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to our office at 316-660-5439.